Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku o onegai shimasu. Today is day 303. It is Thursday, October the 30th, 2014. And uh, I had to stop and think again what the day was. Not just because of my normal mess up thing, but it's because I worked today and I'm usually off on Thursdays. So it's just really screwing with my head. But today I figured because we have one day before Halloween, we should do, and I haven't done one in a while, let's do a Does This Thing Taste Like Shit? And we're doing drinks today. I have three of them, although as you see in my hand I only have two. Uh, I The reason being, and the reason I have the juices in shot glasses, is because somebody upstairs decided when, upon seeing the third one that it, I was not allowed to have it, that it is his. So, <laughs> uh, I got him to pour it in a shot glass there, thanks, Caden. Anyway, uh, that flavor of juice is, um, first of all, it's a group called It Tastes Raw, which I assume is meant to be pure fruit and vegetable juice, which is a good idea, and they weren't too expensive, only like three ninety nine at Cooper's, um, which is a little grocery store that we have here in Kamloops. And um, that flavor that Caden took... Uh, is a green one, so it looks like this, but it's green, and it is pineapple cucumber, so kind of an interesting flavor thing. So I figure we'll try that one first. This is what the juice looks like. Um, hopefully you can kind of see. It looks like a kind of sort of yellowy greenish color, definitely like a pineapple juice sort of thing, and uh, oh, it's, oh god, no, no. I thought the pineapple smell would be more prevalent, but it's definitely like a grassy cucumber kind of flavor smell. Oh, and this is the of the three, this one's one of the scary ones, although, I don't know, there's another one I'm a little bit scared of, but, uh, uh, anyways, uh, I'll give it a taste. So, does this thing taste like shit? That is a weird flavor. It, it's it got a, a tinge of pink lemonade flavor to it. That's the only th way I can really describe it. It's, it's like pink lemonade, but it's pineapple and cucumber. Now, a lot of people think cucumber regularly doesn't have an overly huge flavor to it, um, but it kind of does. We juiced um, cucumbers before and it was very it, quite overpowering for some other stuff. The nice thing about it though is whereas normally pineapples are quite tart this one kind of makes it not so tart at all. I mean it's got the flavor of the tartness if that makes sense but it's not like pucker. It doesn't make your asshole pucker like other <laughs> other stuff does. I got that little zinger from my friend Dana so thank you Dana. No, <laughs> um, no but yeah it's uh, pineapple cucumber interesting thing that's the immediate flavor that comes to mind is the lemonade pink lemonade specifically hmm once you get over the initial oddness of it it's not too bad very odd 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 things people odd things which is good because I'm odd myself okay the next one that scares the shit out of me, I think. Um, I love strawberries. Uh, I've never tried a purple carrot, but that's what this flavor is, is strawberry purple carrot. Interesting combination. So let's look at it first of all. My poor shot glasses are like coming apart. So it's definitely a dark beet red color, kind of like you would see in a can of beans or kidney beans when you pour the bean juice and stuff out. It's got kind of a nice grapey flavor smell to it. Like, you know, when you open up fruit snacks like Gushers or something like that, how they all kind of come together like that, that flavor of, of grapey smell kind of. Again, not really sure how else to describe it, but uh, I like the smell of it, which worries me because the last one I wasn't so sure on the smell of it. This one, I like the smell of it. Well, cheers, bottoms up. Does this thing taste like shit? It's very sweet. And it tastes, it tastes like fruit snacks. Like, it just does. 
that that was so weird. What's with these flavors? Not that I'm complaining. It's a lot better than I was I was thinking it would be. That's not bad. I don't mind it. I, I think it's actually quite good. Mm. Very fruity. Um, but it does not taste like orange at all. Or sorry, strawberry. Um, well, no, that's not true. It does have a bit of a strawberry flavor to it. Maybe that's what it is. It's, maybe I'm getting the grapey kind of flavor confused with strawberry because uh, you have a lot of the fruit, fruit snacky flavors and stuff that kind of intermingle. And I guess strawberry is an overpowering one in a pack, uh, but the grape, it, it's got a good grape flavor and stuff to it as well, which is weird. But yeah, strawberry purple carrot, I like this one. I really, really like this one. Not that the other one was bad either, but it says eight strawberries and three and a half purple carrots. So I don't know what the other one has, what the uh, the mixture of pineapple to to cucumber is but yeah the last one i'm going to try today is mango guarana now i don't know what a guarana is it looks like another fruit maybe or kind of like a blueberry blueberry and well like little berries so this one has one mango and a quarter cup of guarana and other natural juices Oh, drink responsibly. Guarana naturally contains caffeine, not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women or caffeine-sensitive persons. Well, I happen to be a caffeine-sensitive person, but I'm having just a little shot glass of it, which is fine. Let's see if there's a warning on the other one. No, but it says strawberries and purple carrots are known for their high antioxidant and anti-inflammatory nutrients, which are known to help maintain cardiovascular health. Yes. Yes. That's probably going to be one that I get more in the future. This one, hmm. There's no benefits. Oh, yeah, there is. Mangoes are known to be rich in vitamins. Guarana is known to increase endurance, reduce fatigue, and provide natural energy, similar to the effects of caffeine. But caffeine, like I said, I have to be careful with it. Yes, I do drink Coca-Cola, but I stay away from coffees and stuff like that because it does cause annoyances with my heart. I already have heart palpitations, which piss me off more than fat-free sour cream. But, yeah. So... Mango Guarana. How does it... Okay, it looks like this, first of all. It's like a mango-y color, I guess. Kind of got the mango texture to it. it. It has the smell of mangoes to it. So maybe this one will be very mango-y flavored. I don't know. But this is a Las Vegas shot glass, just so you guys can see. I got it when I was in Vegas in 2009. Jesus. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's been a while. All right. Bottoms up. Does this thing... Oh, let's do the... I don't know if that's how you do the, the alcohol thing. I don't actually drink at all, so I, I just see it all the time. But here we go. Does this thing taste like shit? Well, <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, is it bad? Depends on your definition of bad. I... Hmm. Have you ever had red rose tea? Just a regular black tea. And you open the box and you just take a big smell of it. That kind of earthy smell. But it's tea smelling with a bit of bitterness to it. That's what that tastes like. Interesting. So far, all three have tasted differently than I was expecting. Uh, like I said, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But of the three so far, this is my least favorite, unfortunately. The mango guarana. I would say my my next favorite, my very n big favorite one so far is the strawberry purple carrot, which astounds me because I was terrified of trying that one. But it's actually really good. I was expecting more from this one. But it does have a tea taste to it, kind of earthy, like I said. And the pineapple cucumber also was a surprise because it, it wasn't too bad. It tasted like a pink lemonade taste to me, so which is really strange. But uh, I also picked up cranberry ginger ale, which is so good. And I've tried that before. It's upstairs, but yeah, oh, so good. If you ever get a chance to try it, try raspberry ginger ale. Really, really good, too. Get that when I go to Little Caesars and things like that as well. But... Um, I did an arm workout last night, and I can feel it today. I tried it a little bit differently, but 
You can kind of see. I feel it more in this arm, which is probably good because this is my weak arm since I am right-handed. This one, if you look at the biceps, my right one, which is here, is a bit bigger, but that's because I use it more. Um, I really like the new chest workout thing that I was doing. I could totally see these as being good things to have to give you energy. Like, if, if I didn't really... If I, I like that flavor more, the mango one, I could see it probably having that ability to have give you more energy and stuff, uh, especially since it tastes like tea. It's got to have the caffeine kind of thing in it. I could totally see that. Maybe it's the caffeine that I'm tasting and I've just never really thought of it. Uh, the Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever that has caffeine in it normally, Mountain Dew is the biggest amount of caffeine, believe it or not. Maybe you didn't know that, but it's got more caffeine in it than Coca-Cola and Pepsi combined, which is creepy. And I can feel it, I tell you. If I have Mountain Dew, holy shit. It's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. Very bad. Anyways. Um, but yeah, that would be a good one normally, I think. And, but this strawberry one, I think, I really like it too. And it's not too expensive either. So, and because there are like actual, no preservatives or anything added, that's really, really good beneficial stuff for you. So, yay. Um, one other little thing I was going to point out. The fun factor, where I work, is switching over from tokens and tickets to a new card system. So these are what they look like. I have it on a little system here. I don't know if you can... A little thing here attached to my pants because I lost my first card. But anyway, this is what the cards are going to look like. They say fun factor, family fun center, fun card. Just a little swipe card thing on it. And you would just swipe it in the machine and it'll put... A credit on there so instead of tokens you would use this just swipe it on there puts a credit so you can play the game and then any tickets that you win instead of spitting out paper tickets they will get collected on your card so at the end you just uh, we bring it you bring it up to the counter we scan it in and then it shows up on the screen how much you have and you can just keep saving it and it works out really well apparently it's a lot of information for us to learn there's like three new computer systems that we're gonna have to work with which is fine um it's, it's going to be interesting that's to say so that should be coming into effect probably by the end of november um we've been waiting on it for a while just a few bugs to fix you know how it is with machinery and stuff like that but if you're in the area and you want to check it out the fun fact family fun center 9 10 trunk hill road camp moves british columbia right across from denny's on 9th and trunk hill and on that note i will leave you and I would suggest trying these things if you find them in your store. It tastes raw is what it says here. And uh, I think it's Canadian. No, it's made in Miami. Distributed by Raw Foods International in Miami. So you'll probably have these in the States too if you live down there. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I will have a song video tomorrow. I know what one I'm going to do. It's a song I've been wanting to do for a while. It's actually one of my original ones. And it's perfect for Halloween, I think. I will see you then. Jamatha Naimina. Have a great day. Bye-bye and enjoy your Halloween tomorrow.